hurts. So, look what I found. Your favorite. Oh, that's very sweet of you, but I'm not hungry. What do you mean? Actually, Sam, I'm very busy. I need to, need to, I have lots to do. Sue, I don't think you get it. These are the chocolates you were looking for yesterday. I found them. Samuel, leave me alone. Huh? Oh, Sue, I got it. You're sick. You lost your appetite. No, Sam, I'm fine. I'm just busy. What's that all about? What should I do? I'm not sure I'm supposed to eat them without her. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but of course! Little liar! How could you lie to your best friend? Ugh, I'm not lying, Sam. I hope I didn't hurt you. Are you alright? I am, but you... You need to see a doctor. Sammy, but I... Well, you're right. I'm not feeling very well, but I'll manage. Wait, Sue. I think I got it. Napple chocolates. There's only one doctor you never want to go to. It's a dentist. That's it. You've got a toothache. So what? Sue's afraid of dentists. Sue's afraid of dentists. Yeah, easy for you to say. You've never been to a dentist. And I'm not afraid. I just don't want to go. Sue, the best way to deal with fear is to meet it face to face. Oh, really? Then why don't you play with sharks? Oh, what? What does that have to do with it? Well, you're afraid of sharks. Even toy ones. Uh, that's not the same. They all have scary mouths. They're dangerous. Huh. And dentists have very scary tools. You know what? Let's make a deal. If you play with a cardboard shark, I'll go to the dentist. No way! I'm not taking part in that! Well, I like the idea. I'll make the shark. Hopefully it'll distract me from the toothache. Hi, everyone! What do you think? Who is more scary? A shark or a dentist? Write in the comments. This will be the main part of the jaws. We need to make it very flexible. That's why we need to make cuts all over the surface of the cardboard. But be very careful. And ask an adult to help you. Great! Now we need to adjust the shape a bit, because this piece is irregular. Take it slow, and let's try to make the cuts very neat and precise. Like this. Voila! Exactly what we need. Now let's take another piece of cardboard, almost the same size. Right, I need to see if it fits. We need to cut corners like this. I'll mark them with a pencil lightly. We'll have to do without a ruler here. But nobody said it would be easy. <laughs> And we need to cut at the front as well. Just like before. There! We need to glue these pieces together to make sure the upper piece is sticking out and there's some space in the back. And... There! Let's cover this opening with a fitting piece of cardboard. And at the bottom, we'll glue this strip of cardboard to the edges of the bottom part. Sue, you can't be serious. You really prefer crafting to professional medical treatment. If it helps our friendship, sure. Hey, look, guys. We need to glue several pieces of cardboard here. Just stack them up. And glue another piece of cardboard on the top of them. I hope you remember to be careful with hot glue, right? You say it'll help our friendship. Really? My heart attack and living in constant fear that there's a scary shark somewhere in the house? Sam, it isn't real. I'm not asking you to go swimming in the ocean with real sharks. <laughs> As if anyone does that. Well, actually, yes. There are divers like that. Of course, they take lots of safety measures. They don't dive too deep. They avoid places with too many sharks around. And they try to calculate their hunting time. <laughs> Done! That's horrible! Let's paint our future shark now. 
I'll use this wonderful blue color. Sam, those divers just like extremes, and only trained divers can do it. There are much safer ways to meet a shark. For example, there's that special steel cage, which is placed underwater. No shark, however big and fierce it is, can get into that cage, which makes it safe to stay inside and watch the sharks. But why, Sue? Why would anyone want to watch big and fierce sharks? Ugh, guys, would you go underwater to watch some sharks? Even in a protected cage? I wouldn't. No way! Aw, oh, but isn't it interesting? I'd love to see a shark, but I'd rather go to an aquarium. Ah, uh, what's that? It's like a zoo, only for sea and ocean creatures. It's a large place with giant aquariums instead of walls and ceilings. They often have sharks, too. Wait, you mean there are sharks not only in the sea, but in the city, too? And they swim there, all they want, and people come voluntarily, and they're so close! Oh, my bed, Actually, Sam, people come there together with their children, even little ones. It's so beautiful. Do you hear just... Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> Funny, Sam. Guys, have you ever been to an aquarium? Tell Sam that it isn't scary, but just wonderful. And we need to glue together all these wooden sticks. Look, these go on top of each other. Then small ones at the sides. And one more stick goes on top. It should move like this. And a few more small pieces. One moment, ta-da! And here is where the spring goes. But that's not all. Let's glue a toothpick piece to this stick. And set them on the spring. Sam, don't you want to see what I'm doing? I can see very well from here. Sammy, it's not a shark here. I want to show you how one mechanism works. Oh, you decided not to make a shark? Oh, good. Mechanisms are better. Anything is better than sharks. Well, I haven't exactly changed my mind, but look. Wow, but what is it? What for? To play a game? You could say that. You'll see, but don't run away. We'll make one more part out of all these pieces. Um, uh, by the way, Sam, what are you wearing? <laughs> It's my protective suit. It's designed to fight evil sharks off. Oh, well, that's some protective suit. <laughs> How are you going to fight them off? Eh, I'll figure it out later. <gasps> oh, wait. I can use that as a shield. Oh, no, Sam. I've got plans for this part. And here's one more part of the mechanism. Or it's not going to work. Time to set this part of the mechanism in place. There. And let's secure it well. And you, Sam, you can help me paint something. Do you see those items on the table? These? No problem. And now comes the most interesting part, but you'll need adult supervision for this. We're going to assemble a special propeller. Let's apply some glue and attach these wooden sticks. It's coming out great. Don't you think? Let's set it onto the spring. Did you say propeller? Are you making a plane? Oh, not quite. It won't look anything like a plane. Then a helicopter? No, sweetie. It's not going to fly at all. Right, and to make the piece sturdier, I need to glue several small pieces of cardboard inside. And now I'm making a hole. Carefully. Oh, I know, a mill! Sammy, no! Look at this thing. Let's insert this button in here. And attach our accumulator. It'll make the whole mechanism work. Guys, ask an adult to help you with the wires. It's dangerous to do it on your own. I got it! It's a ship! But do ships need propellers? 
Take a closer look, Sam, before I hide our mechanism. But actually, yes, some ships also have propellers. They are used, well, more or less, like propellers on planes and helicopters for movement. And let's cover the wheel. Hey, Sam, did you paint what I asked for? Sure! What's that for? Oh, thanks! We need to insert these into the openings. Two and three. Just like this. Wonderful, wonderful. But I still can't figure out what this is for. Oh, so These are teeth! You, you're still making a shark! And with a motor, too! It's some kind of a sharkinator! Sam, don't be afraid. It's all under control. Oh, I'm not even done yet and he ran off. How can anyone be scared that much? Ouch! How can anyone be scared that much? Huh, Sue? Do you want to wait until the toothache gets so worse? You know what? You don't want to play with the shark? I don't want to go to the dentist. Everyone gets what they want. <sighs> Dear Mr. Shark, Wonderful weather, don't you think? You've got such quite big... Oh, no, I can't. It's more than I can handle. Mm. I can do this. <sighs> Sam, you know, I think it's unfair of me to make you... Sammy? Yes, Susie? Sam, you, you're playing with the shark? Oh, you mean my friend Mr. Shark? He's a great guy, but... He's also suffering from a toothache. Here, try to touch him. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> You're not afraid? No. What's there to be afraid of? Huh. I'll try pushing down the teeth one by one. Let's see. Which tooth will make the mouth close? Uh, nope. No. Nope. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh! Sam, I'm going to the dentist right away. There. You and I did good. I'm going. What about you, Sam? You won't get bored? No, no. My new friend and I won't get bored. Sam, you're the bravest slime in the world. Guys, what do you think of Mr. Shark? I think he's great. Give a thumbs up if you agree, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button not to miss new videos. Bye-bye.